Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah. So, uh, shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. So, a lot has gone down since the last time I recorded. Like, it has probably been the most I have played off-screen in between episodes so far in the series. Um, I'll get into a little bit of what has happened in a minute. But first off... I'm back here. I say back as in I left. Okay. As in I left for a long, long time. Get, get the, yeah. I was, I was out exploring. I was out doing things. Um, this obviously got completed. So, I had mentioned to a friend of mine who also has this game that I was in Kakariko. And he was basically like, okay, man, what'd you think of the Great Fairy? And I went, um... Great Fairy? So apparently there's a Great Fairy in here in Kakariko, which I haven't seen yet. But I noticed that there was a path here, and I thought there was- I saw something in the distance. So I get the distinct feeling that it's probably here, since this is the- Oh, I just saw a Blue Rabbit! This is the only place I haven't explored yet. Uh, you guys saw that too, right? I'll, I'll replay that. I totally saw a Blue Rabbit. And there's this fucking thing. They give you tips on the loading screen when you like load the game and they're like some say that there is a blue rabbit that stalks the forest and if you find him magic shit happens. So I actually didn't even know what are those fucking mushrooms? What is that? Oh my god. Okay, there's so much shit I got to explore. Oh, is that That's it. That's the rabbit. That's the rabbit. Okay, guys, we got to be really quiet. We got to stalk this thing. I can't get a fucking bead on it. Am I, am I killing the great fairy? Is that what I'm doing here? Okay, I think I gotta talk to it. Alright, fuck it. No, that's totally a fucking rabbit. Okay, my, my arrows are doing absolutely nothing. Hey, hey, hey. I gotta find you. I gotta, I gotta catch you. Oh, he disappeared. What the fuck was I supposed to do there? Alright. So... I think that giant red thing is the Great Fairy. So I'm gonna go deal with that. And then we'll get into what new stuff I have done in between this episode and the last, which is a lot. Like, it's a significant amount of stuff. Okay. Am I wrong in thinking that this? I think I was wrong in assuming that that was the Great Fairy. Okay, uh, shit. Holy shit, this is... <gasps> Navi! Hello. It's not Navi, but this is, this is the great fairy thing. Okay. Hey, listen. Oh, how would I cat? Can I catch a fairy? Oh, I'm sure I can catch a fairy. I gotta be really fucking quick, though. Watch go, 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 go! Yes! Oh, that's gonna- the fairy's gonna fucking save me if I die, so it's just like Ocarina. Yes! Oh, that's awesome, and I'm- Oh, I got a weird fucking carrot. I'm sure that this is probably where the fucking- the great fairy is, if I can catch fairies here. Alright, that's- that's cool. And there's so much fucking loot here, too, like, Jesus. Okay, um... Yeah, examine. Sweet boy, please listen to my story. Sure. Yeah, great fairy. I am the great fairy, Kotera. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. Oh, so the bitch wants money. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is a hundred rupees. A hundred? She needs a full hundo. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy! And if you can see, I got a fuck ton of rupees. Yeah, okay. Fine. That was weird. Thank you, you are too kind. The, uh, the power! It's overflowing! And what now, what now? 
dark music for this, I gotta say. Oh my god. Okay, nice tit shot, Nintendo. Um, oh my god, that's the Great Fairy? Actually, you know what? If you've ever seen these freaks in Ocarina, this is actually, this feels like not that far off. Okay, what do you do? Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. As they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Enhance my clothing? You'll need materials. Enhance your clothing a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is cool. So she can make my clothing better. Cannot enhance. She can't enhance the cold resistance thing. The hood. She needs five bokoblin horns? Sure. Yeah. Let me do my thing. You know, th this bitch was scary as fuck when I first saw her. Oh, it's now five defense. That'll go a long way. How a set of clothes that have been enhanced twice could have a bonus, but only if you wear the whole set. Well, not all sets have a bonus. Yeah, if I have the fucking... Does it only take Bokoblin horns? Bokoblin horns. I have fucking millions of those. I'm actually selling those because I have so many. So what's, what's this going to do when I upgrade everything? Oh, so she can't improve anything else. Oh, restore power to her sisters. <laughs> okay. So I guess there's not really that many different types of, um... Yeah, I thought so. You're never getting out now. Uh, I guess there's not that many different types of clothing. So they just upgrade your clothing. I guess she can do it to any clothing I bring her? Huh. That's, that's cool. So what did I think of the Great Fairy? Um, was a little disturbing, a little strange, um, an odd choice, but to be honest, the Great Fairies in Ocarina are just as weird. So honestly, it's not that strange for Nintendo to make the Great Fairies that way. So honestly, it's just like, I'm just going with it. like. She was designed cool. I mean, it's not what I would have would have expected, but it was cool. So yeah, like I said, I was I was gonna try and get into like what uh, what I've done. So you might notice I've got another heart. I've also got more stamina. I cleared out a shit ton of shrines. Like I cleared out a lot. What is? Oh, okay. Um. I think there's a um, Korok here that I just didn't notice. Or I've been I've been down this way, haven't I? Ah, oh, fuck! You. Ah, hey, hey, hey! Don't hurt me. Do you really wanna hurt me? Yep. I uh, maybe I just missed that. Maybe I'm going down a path I didn't. No, I'm on the road to Viridian City. No, I'm on the road to Heteno. Um. So yeah, I cleared out some shrines and then. You might notice my map's kind of filled in. I found another one of those towers here. Yeah, a central tower. I filled it in, like I completed it, and I filled in a giant chunk of my map. And this was one of the towers that I had already tried to complete. And it's basically surrounded by guardians that will shoot you down when you climb. But with the extra stamina, I was like, I can probably jump my way to victory. So that's what I did. I jumped my way to victory. Oh, there was an orange bird. I wonder if that was any different. So that's what I... Oh, yeah, I've been here. This is where fucking um, tree guy was. And I got to find him again. So I managed to jump my way to victory. I was successful and... Holy fuck. I almost just jumped that. Um, I probably could jump that, couldn't I? Like I like to say, YOLO! So I was pretty, like, I was successful. I cleared that out. It had more ramifications than I was expecting. Like, it, it filled in, like, a shit ton of my map, which is cool. 
And so, yeah, um, I haven't really explored much that area just because there's like a billion guardians there. And I still cannot beat them. The extra stamina, extra heart doesn't really go that far, unfortunately. Ah, shit, if I explode these, it's all going to go flying. Um, what do I have here? You might notice I got a lot of new weapons, too. Ah, fucking tree branch. Yeah, it's useless. So, that's it. I, I explored a bunch. I had to really go looking for shrines. Because I ended up being one shrine short of having enough to increase my stamina again. So, I just went looking. Uh, and, and it's gone. It's It's gone. So I just went looking for uh, shrines, and I had to go really far. Hey, I found something new. And when I went really far, I found out that um, the enemies in the areas you're not supposed to be in are super fucking strong, so avoid them. But yeah, so that's something. Uh, I just, I, I, I think it would be weird to like just gloss over the fact that I have different weapons, I have different stuff, I've completed a bunch of shrines, and I'm. I have more uh, stamina. So yeah, that's that's the main thing. Other than that, other than getting doing that, getting some new gear and shit, I mean, uh, I rode a little bit with Bojack, but not a whole lot. I just didn't really... I feel like I should... Our bond should be captured on film, you know what I mean? Because it's a special bond between me and my horse Bojack. Ah, oh, I was hoping for Korok. Ah, he flew away. Fuck! So yeah, basically, I just, I explored a lot. That's the main gist of this. I've just explored quite a bit of the map now. It's not all filled in with, like, the towers and shit, but I have. And so, oh, speaking of towers, I'll probably be filling that one in, I'm guessing. Hey, horses, don't, don't horse kick me. I'm not after you right now. Oh, whoa, Bacoblins? Okay. While I'm talking, bro, really? I, w I was just having a conversation with my audience. No need to fucking be a dick about it. Oh, I thought that was somebody's feet. It looked like legs in the ground. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, I don't need a fucking Boko Club. I do need the horns, apparently, though. That's... It's good. I've... One of the reasons why I have so much money is I just got, like, a billion fucking Boko horns from exploring, and I just fucking sold them all. Oh, yeah. My name's Garl. Come to see Fort Atono, I take it. Yep. Figure as much. It's well worth seeing. Fort Hatano here was the last line of defense between Hatono Village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in life, right? Sure. I don't know what you're getting at, but sure. So yeah, I've just I've explored a lot. Like I've filled in a lot of a lot of the map, and basically this is. I mentioned before. That I didn't really. Oh fuck! I missed it. That I didn't really want to be doing crazy long episodes, like thirty minutes. Because I feel that they're not... Crazy long episodes aren't very accessible. Oh, this is going to be bad. Corsair and Bee Honey. Ah, oh, fuck. I knew it would be bad. Actually, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Take it, take it. Run, 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 run. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, a house. Hey. So I knew I was saying that I didn't really want to be doing crazy long episodes. But I feel like... You know what? Every once in a while, I'm going to have to be doing a crazy long episode. I think it's actually fine that I'm going to be doing that kind of thing. Whenever there's a lot of plot, that way, like, most of my episodes will be 15 to 20 minutes. And then when there's a bunch of plot that I need to get through, it'll be like a 25-minute episode. That way you still get the same amount of content in the episode that you normally would. But you also get the plot, you know what I mean? So, if you don't like the long episodes, I'm sorry. There, it's gonna be rare. It's gonna be like the, the ones that have like cutscenes and shit. Hey, Choo Choo. Hey, Choo Choo, fuck you, Choo Choo. Ah, oh, fucking. These fucking weapons, man. Holy shit. So, yeah. That's it. I'm on the road to Hateno. I know I didn't get a shit ton done here. But in the interest of keeping them normal length episodes, that's gonna be where I end this one. So, in the next one, I'll get a lot closer to Hateno. Maybe I'll actually be there. We'll see. But, yeah, guys. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this episode where I just kind of talked, saw a fairy, and didn't do a whole lot. And, yeah, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And, as always, I will see you in the next one. Hey, guys. My name is Rob Mar, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild.
So as I promised in the last episode, I made a bit of progress coming forward. I'm, I'm kind of excited to get back into it. It's uh, It's been a while. I've been playing it here and there, like, because I kind of have to. I'm at this super resource grindy part. 